Hey writers, welcome to the pirate personality profile page. Now I hope you took my advice and you took a break and you gave yourself some time to brainstorm a pirate character that you're very excited to write about. On this page, we're going to add more details to make that character come alive. We want to get to know him or her better as a person or as a hamster or carrot or whatever you've chosen to write about. Now for me, I really liked all three of our ideas, the traditional pirate character, the hamster, and the carrot. I've decided to choose Buccaneer Blue Cheese for this page. Now for the pet and name, I decided to go online and do a little bit of research about the types of pests or bugs that you may find in a garden where carrots are growing. And I found a slug. And since slugs leave slimy trails wherever they crawl around, I feel like a good name is Slimy the Slug. For the pirate ship's name, if you remember back in lesson one, when we were finding out what our first and last name would be as a pirate, mine was Crimson Battle Hog. And I feel like this is actually a nice name for a ship. And since the word crimson means red, and Buccaneer Blue Cheese's best friend is a red tomato, I feel like this is a nice fit for the story. Hmm. Now this is tough. What treasure is he looking for? And I really don't know. I haven't decided yet if Buccaneer Blue Cheese is searching for a traditional treasure chest or some other kind of object. So I'm just going to skip this for now. And you can do this too. If there's any detail that you just haven't decided on, then skip it and come back later. You'll have lots of time for changing your mind and adding details as, as your story comes along. Now for the phrases that Buccaneer Blue Cheese likes to say, I want to go back to lesson one and check out that sample dialogue list. <laughs> uh, I have found what I want him to say. <laughs> slimy, slimy. Now, since slimy is a slug that also leaves slippery trails all over that ship, I think you would also hear Swab the deck. Otherwise, it's quite dangerous, and pirates would be slipping all over the place. Now, for his best skills, I want to go back to this page. Hmm. Since he's holding a sword, I bet he is a very good swashbuckler, and he's good at swashbuckling which, if you remember, means to be a swaggering swordsman. I also feel he would be good at math in order to uh, steer his ship using a compass, calculating wind speeds and distances, and what else? I think the sword looks a little bit like a toothpick. So another skill is picking his teeth with a sword. I mean, that takes some serious skill to safely pick teeth with a sword, right? Now, on the next page, we're going to add even more details about your character, so I'll see you there.